Hi, my name is Tenley, and today I'll be walking you through a demonstration of the stock management functionality in OpenLMIS version 3.1. This video is part of a series of demonstration videos of the functionality available in the version 3 series of OpenLMIS. OpenLMIS is an open source, enterprise class, electronic logistics management information system purpose-built to manage commodity supply chains in low- and middle-income countries. Stock management is the process of managing a stock of commodities at various types of locations, for example, a regional drug depot or a small storeroom, by a storeroom manager. A storeroom manager manages stock at their storeroom and records stock movements, for example, issues, receipts, and adjustments on a schedule, either once a month or when an audit is being performed by the program. The storeroom manager can also view and verify the stock on hand at the facility and can perform an audit of the physical inventory. Within OpenLMIS, there is no prescribed workflow for stock management. A storeroom manager can approach the process flow for managing stock however they wish, in line with the actions available in the system as shown in this image. For this video, however, I will demonstrate one possible process flow, acting as a storeroom manager who begins by logging into the system and viewing the stock on hand at my facility. Upon viewing the stock on hand, as the storeroom manager, I will then make an adjustment to a product in my storeroom. An adjustment is a predefined type of stock movement that is configured with reasons for a user to select and associate with the movement. Typically, this would involve logging loss or wastage of a product. I will then log the receipt and issue of stock in and out of my storeroom. The receive and issue stock movement types record two standard movements that adjust stock levels. The receive type occurs when a facility has received stock that wasn't requested through the regular requisition workflow. The issue type occurs when a facility needs to issue stock that wasn't requested through the regular requisition workflow. Once all issues, receipts, and adjustments have been completed, I will view my stock on hand again and then perform a physical inventory, thereby ensuring that the stock information in OpenLMIS matches the physical inventory available in my storeroom. A storeroom manager can perform these actions in any order. Whatever your workflow, OpenLMIS is designed to support real-world processes with a user-friendly digital record that helps track and manage stock. Okay, let's get started. On the screen, you can see the login page for OpenLMIS. For this demonstration, I will be logging in as the storeroom manager user. OpenLMIS includes role-based access and permissions meaning that different users have different permissions within the system, depending on their role and responsibility within the supply chain. In this example, all the available actions within the stock management functionality have been granted to this user, the storeroom manager, who manages stock within a storeroom for their facility. My first action after logging in will be to navigate to the Stock Management menu at the top of the screen and to view my stock on hand. When viewing stock on hand, the user would be comparing the stock on hand in the electronic system to the stock on hand listed on their physical inventory card. Here, I will start by viewing the stock on hand for the family planning pro program at the Comfort Health Clinic. The electronic stock on hand seen here is populated from previous entries of stock received into the storeroom and should match the products currently being managed in the storeroom. You can see here that there can be multiple product entries for a single product category with all quantities totaled here. When entering product, a user may enter a lot number or leave that lot undefined. By selecting View for a specific product, I can view the electronic bin card for that product, including the history of all physical inventory and adjustments performed for that product and who made the changes. Here, for example, you can see that several adjustments were made to this product, including listing expirations, issues, and receipts. By selecting print, the user can print out the stock card report for that product, including the history of all adjustments and physical inventories. At this time, I have several options for how I can continue. In this example, I chose to view my stock on hand as a preliminary informative step before completing actions within the system. 
Now, as the storeroom manager, I know that I have some activities I need to complete to update the stock levels in my system. For example, entering an adjustment to an existing product in my storeroom. In this example, I will make an adjustment to my stock of Orthonovum. I will navigate to the top level menu and select Adjustments from the drop down menu. I am making an adjustment to products within the Family Planning Program and will select Orthonovum from the drop down menu of products available within my system. Here, I will note that 200 units of Orthonovum were lost and will add the reason lost due to storeroom reorganization. I will then get a notification that the adjustment was submitted successfully here in the upper right hand corner. The system then returns me to the stock on hand screen where you can now see that the total stock on hand for Orthonovum has been reduced by 200 units from 1,000 to 800. At this point, I will now demonstrate the process of entering the receipt of a product into my storeroom. From here, I will return to the top level menu and select Receive from the drop down menu. Again, for the Family Planning Program, I will then select Make Receive to enter a receipt into the system. On this page, I can see a list of available products to choose from in the system or could choose to perform a search to find the product I want. These products are pre-populated from a defined master list that is managed by the system administrator. One unique aspect of OpenLMIS's stock management functionality is the ability of a system administrator to define lots and to align with GS1 or Global Standards 1 global practices. In this demonstration example, some products have defined lots and others do not. Lots also have assigned expiration dates, which help manage expiry dates and align with first expired, first out, or FIFO standards. In this example, I will select Implanon from the drop down menu and will not define the lot associated with it. I will hit Add, which then brings up the product information. In this product information, I can view the current stock on hand in my storeroom, 2,000 units and can select from where I am receiving new stock, in this example, from an NGO that is donating stock to the country. I can only select one reason in this example, transfer in, and can add a comment here, for example, received delivery from Doctors Without Borders. I will then enter the quantity being received, 2,000 units, and hit the Submit button in the bottom right-hand corner to enter this receipt into my storeroom. I will receive confirmation that the receipt has been successfully entered here in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can now see that my stock on hand for Implanon has been updated to reflect the latest receipt of stock. Stock on hand is now 4,000 units. By selecting View, I can see the comment associated with the last transfer. At this point, I will now go through the process of issuing stock from my storeroom by navigating to the top level menu and selecting Issue from the drop down menu. I will stay with the family planning program here and will select Make Issue. I will be making an issue in the system for my stock of Lavora. And you can see that the system automatically allows me to select which stock of Lavora I can issue from, either the stock without a defined lot or from a specific lot number. In this example, I will issue from this defined lot. The system will automatically generate a list of available locations to issue to, based on a list that is uploaded at the time of system configuration. In this example, I will issue to Balaka District Hospital and have only one reason for the issue, which is transfer out. I will add the comment quarterly stock replenishment and will issue 50 units. I will then select the Submit button in the bottom right hand corner and again we'll see a confirmation in the upper right hand corner of the screen. At this point, as the storeroom manager, I have completed the following actions. I have viewed my stock on hand. I have completed an adjustment to an existing product in my storeroom. I have entered receipt of a new shipment into my storeroom 
and I have issued stock out of my storeroom to an external facility. I have now completed all necessary actions in the system to make changes to my stock levels and am now ready to perform a physical inventory of my stock. By completing a physical inventory, I am comparing the actual physical counts of stock in my storeroom to my electronic stock card in OpenLMIS, ensuring that there are no discrepancies or noting where there are differences. Returning to the home screen of OpenLMIS, I will navigate to the top level menu and select Physical Inventory from the drop down menu. I'll continue to manage stock for the Family Planning Program. On the screen, you can see all products for the Family Planning Program that are currently entered in the system, including their lot code, if defined, expiration date, if defined, and stock on hand in the system. At this point, it is also possible for me to add an additional product in case there is a product physically on hand that I have not yet entered into my stock count in the system. The drop-down will only populate with a list of family planning products in the system that are not yet counted in my electronic stock card. For example, mail condoms. Here, I can add the product and enter my current stock on hand. For example, 1,000 units. You can see here, for example, that because this is the first time I am adding mail condoms to the system, there is no existing stock on hand. Once I complete my physical inventory, the current stock on hand for this product will be entered into the system and will appear on the stock on hand and physical inventory pages. Entering the current inventory numbers for each of the products advances the progress of my physical inventory so I can visually see how far along I am in my process. This feature is helpful for situations where a storeroom manager may have dozens or even hundreds of products to manage. An additional option to help storeroom managers is the ability to save a draft of an existing physical inventory to complete at a later time. Additionally, if I have recently been restocked with an existing product in the system, here for example, Lavora, I can enter the physical stock on hand here, and the additional quantity of this product will be added into the system once I complete my physical inventory. Upon completing my physical inventory process, I will hit Submit here in the bottom right hand corner and a pop-up will confirm the date of submission and require a signature. The date entered must either be in the past or today's date. It cannot be a future date. I will confirm my signature and the date and the system will then automatically take me back to the stock on hand page where I can now view the updated amounts in my stock on hand based on the physical inventory I just completed. This concludes the demonstration of the stock management functionality in OpenLMIS version 3. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration video and we'd love to hear your feedback and questions. Please write to us at info at openlmis.org or visit openlmis.org for further information on the software, community, and how to get started with OpenLMIS. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks so much.